So this video is still in the chapter of extension fields and we finished this section with the concept of uh, zeros of an irreducible polynomial. So we are introducing here a <coughs> definition. So let f of x be a n x to the power of n plus a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 till a1 x plus a0 where this f of x is in this in the ring of polynomials so we are introducing the concept of derivative this concept is more or less like the, the concept in calculus so we are the concept of derivative of f of x, the derivative of f of x. So we are going to write this this way, exactly like in calculus. Okay, so the derivative of f of x is going to be, so what should this be in calculus? We will take n here, right? n, a n, x n minus 1, plus now n minus 1 comes here, right? So n minus 1, a n minus 1, x n, now it will be minus 2, right, etc. till the last one. And uh, this polynomial, this, uh, this is still a polynomial, right? So this one will live also in the ring of polynomials, okay? I'm not putting here the, the, a limit, right? Remember, the, in, um, in calculus, uh, the um, derivative operator is given by a limit, right? A limit at point A, where you have f of x minus f of a dividing x minus a, right? This is the, the concept of derivative in calculus. We are not going to do this here, okay? So, this definition does not involve uh, the notion of a limit, but the, um, the usual rules for derivatives, uh, like uh, sums, products, and all that sort of stuff, um, it will follow more or less the same uh, pattern. So I'm going to call this a lemma, right? So I'm picking f of x uh, and g of x in the ring of polynomials, okay? And we pick a value a in the, the field and the usual rules will be the same okay so what is the derivative of the sum it will be the sum of derivatives I'm pretty sure uh, everybody's used to this from calculus so if I, a function multiplied by a scalar from the field, the derivative will be a times this, and then we have the what we call this in in calculus the product rule, right? So f of x times g of x plus um, g of x times f of x, that's the, the product rule. I'm going to leave this without any proof, no need here. So to finish this chapter, I'm just going to uh, leave here two concepts, a criterion for multiple zeros. So a polynomial f of x over a field f has a multiple zero 
if and only if f of x and its derivative have a common factor of positive degree in the ring of polynomials. Okay, so uh, that will be called a multiple zero. Another concept is the concept of zeros of an irreducible. So let f of x be an irreducible polynomial over a field f. If have as characteristic zero, if you don't know what this is, please check the previous videos, then f of x has no multiple zeros. Okay? So if f has characteristic p, uh, so uh, non-zero characteristic, then f of x has a multiple zero only if it is of the form f of x equals g x to the power of p okay for some g of x in the ring of polynomials all this is pretty intuitive and is more or less like in calculus